Hey everybody, welcome back to another brand new video. Today we are doing the $100 Walmart shopping spree haul, hoping to find some Topps updates. So here's our first location. I tried to stop off at a couple Walmarts that leave the stuff on the shelves because I was hoping for a retail review, maybe get uh, more than just one box. Uh, hoping to get like a blaster box of uh, update and uh, maybe a fat pack hanger pack, but they didn't have any at this first location. They did have this though. You see some chrome hangers along with a Bowman Platinum box or two. So I'm gonna grab those. There's also optic boxes on the shelves. Those blaster boxes are $35 a piece. So I'm going to politely pass on those. Also fat packs and the fat packs, I think are like 17 or $18 a piece. So no, thank you. So first location, we got the two boxes, the Bowman Platinum and the hanger box of Chrome which came to about $50 almost. And now we're on to our next location. This is in Greensburg, Pennsylvania. They have this stuff out as well. Unfortunately, um, pretty much the same stuff. So I'm starting to think that maybe Tops Update is not going to be put out this week unless somebody grabbed them all already. A whole bunch of Magic the Gathering. In fact, I had to wait in line for a couple guys to go through all the Magic the Gathering for like, I stood there for like five minutes. They were pretty stoked about the, the offerings they had there for Magic the Gathering. But I decided to go through all the boxes just to look in case anybody hit a box that um, maybe they wanted to come back and buy later, and they did not. Bowman Platinum and Optics. So once again, I'm going to grab a Platinum and also a hanger box of Chrome and then head on to my final stop. At this Walmart, I met Mr. Dave Penn of the Pen Box, and he gave me the November Pen Box, and uh, stood in line with him and talked a little bit, and he actually bought me a Bowman Chrome Mega Box for my birthday. Here it is. So let's go and open these up and see what we can find. Thank you very much for watching, everybody. All right, everybody, we are back from Walmart, and we have about $100 worth of stuff to go through today, plus an additional birthday present compliments of Dave Penn of the Pen Box. So let's go ahead and get started. Now, I stopped off at three different Walmarts, um, and they really didn't have too much that I was really after. I was hoping to find some Tops update, but that just wasn't on the shelves today. It wasn't in the cards. Now, the last Walmart did have Bowman Chrome, and there's a big line of folks at the customer service desk and there was uh, only one box left after Dave bought two of them. So I was just like, eh, I'm not gonna stay in line. And then Dave's like, you know what, buddy? This one is for your birthday. So this will open up as well. So let's go ahead and get started. Wayne is our sponsor for this video. Wayne, thank you very much. If you'd like to check out our Patreon page, that's where we sell our video spots. It is $4.99 a month. And uh, later tonight for Patreon members, we will be doing a Saturday showdown. It is a box war where the lowest numbered card pulled gets all the cards. So we've got a case of update. We've got a case of series two. We've got a case of five star and also mosaic. So lots of cards to open tonight. Let's go ahead and open some cards now. We'll start off with the Bowman Chrome hanger boxes. Now these boxes are about $30 a piece almost after tax. I think they're like $26.98 or $27.98 or something like that. Kind of high for hanger box. Let's see if we can get something out of them. There's five packs, 25 total cards. We've got a 1986 Jacob deGrom refractor, which is kind of cool. Next pack up for Wayne. We've got Yasmani Grandal. Here comes the next uh, refractor. It's going to be Willie Castro. Still nothing crazy. I would love to find an autograph out of a hanger box for Wayne, but we'll see if that's going to happen. There's Buster Posey, a Josh Donaldson, a Prismic Power, Jose Ramirez, and Willie Castro. And last pack for Wayne, at least from this hanger box. Joey Bart's on the back. And unfortunately, that is kind of a dud box uh, for almost $30 worth of uh, cards. Didn't get our money's worth there. Let's do the other one before we go into the Bowman Platinum and also the Bowman Chrome Mega Box. I'm hoping next week we'll have some Tops update for you. We'll see. Sometimes the retail is a week or two behind. Hobby hasn't even come out for Tops update yet. That's not being shipped until Wednesday. They got the jumbos out first this time around. We've got a Joe Adele 1986 refractor, which is a very nice card. Saw some Joe Adele's at the card show today. I went out to the Union Town Mall. I was expecting to maybe make some big purchases, but actually only ended up spending $15. 
Just uh, didn't really find too much. But maybe next week I'll go to another card show and find some more. Uh, maybe everything was just picked over because I did kind of advertise that one a little bit. Next pack up, there is Anderson Tejeda. And a Rod Carew Panama baseball card. And here we go. Last pack for Wayne from these hanger boxes. There's a Mountie on the back. Possible Rookie of the Year award winner. Unfortunately, just nothing going on in those packs. Let's go to Bowman Platinum next. Bowman Platinum. These are, I believe they're $23 a box. And uh, this, I felt like, was a much better deal and shelling out 35 for an optic or a prism box. So let's go ahead and see what we can find from Bowman Platinum. Hopefully we get some good stuff in here. Now we've done Bowman Platinum on the channel already. I did, a, I think, a new release preview of it. The cards themselves look kind of drab to me. They're kind of boring looking. If this is your first time seeing Bowman Platinum, you'll see what I mean right now. But we've got Alec Bowman. Heston Kerstad on the front. And here we go. We've got Sam Huff leading things off. There's... Gilberto Jimenez, got a Nassim Nunez, and Yermin Mercedes. Possibly, I, I would say the best card so far, but Yermin Mercedes cards have really fallen off the face of the earth. There's Justin Verlander. He'll be back next year. Dylan Dingler, a Meteoric. Hedbert Perez, and Aaron Nola is the last one in that one for Wayne. I'm hoping we can find an autograph. We'll see. Nolan Arenado. There's a U Darvish, Icy, and a Fernando Tatis Jr. We'll see where he places in the MVP voting come mid-November. That's only a couple weeks away. The World Series is basically half over. Kind of crazy. Braves up two games to one right now. Bobby Dalbeck, rookie card. There's an Austin Hendrick, which is a nice one. And Nate Pearson, rookie card, is our final one right there. Still nothing too crazy yet. William Contreras, by the way, um, there's Seth Johnson. I was going to let you guys know that we won't be live with an auction tomorrow since it's Halloween. We take it tomorrow off to uh, you know, celebrate the, in the festivities with my kids. There's Alex Kirloff, rookie card, Freddy Valdez, and Jose Abreu. But we'll probably bring the auction back on Monday night. So Mystery Box Monday, along with an auction. There's a Tyler Stevenson Icy and a Kill Badu. Nice one right there. That was, man, that was one of the best autographs we had out of our update case break last night. We just could not get anything going. There was, I don't know, I don't know if we even got a card over $100. Renowned rookies. Alec Bohm was a nice one and Joe Adele once again. It was tough. I'll tell you what, we opened... Um, 40 plus silver packs and didn't find a single autograph and for a while we weren't even finding any colored parallels i think i think we got like five and uh like four of those came near the very end the silver packs at least from the cases i opened were awful i'll be interested to see once i collate a hundred silver packs and open them all up if it's going to be that bad across the board here's wayne's next box and his last box so two Bowman Platinums, and then the Bowman Chrome box was a birthday present from Dave to me. So that one's mine. We'll open that one this video as well since it did come from Walmart. Let's see if we can find Wayne a hit here as we head out the door, so to speak, on this Saturday night. Jake Cronenworth, Yasel, and Tuna. I haven't heard of him yet. Jason Dominguez, Meteoric, is a very nice card right there. And Dylan Carlson. I picked up some Dylan Carlson cards today in the 50 cent box. Figured, why not? Dylan Carlson has a, not, he's not like been a superstar rookie, but had a pretty solid rookie season. We've got a Joey Bart Icy and also George Springer. And about five packs left to get something done here for you, Wayne. And these packs are getting, for some reason, harder and harder for me to open. Maybe my fingers are tired. I don't know. There's Francisco Lindor. He's got a card in the update set. Reed Detmers and Davey Garcia rookie card. It's the last one right there. Lots of rookie debut cards in Pops Update. Kind of a cool thing. There's Evan White. We got a Keston Hira whose stock is way down. You can get his PSA 10 rookie card for like, what is it, like 15 bucks or something like that? 20 bucks? I don't even know. I was on the uh, Keston Hira train for a long time there, but he's... 
Just not been able to get it going the last two years. We got a numbered card. It's a Glaber Torres out of 299. Saw one of his rookie cards at the card show for 50 cents. I actually passed on it, which is kind of crazy. A couple years ago, that would have been uh, probably a five dollar card at least. There's Clark Schmidt and Tristan McKenzie. All right, Wayne, last pack. Let's see if we can get some last pack magic for you in your final pack of this Walmart haul. And we've got Acuna Jr., Reed Detmers, a Sam Huff renowned rookies, and Glaber once again. So unfortunately, no autographs to speak of. But maybe we'll get one from here. So Wayne, thank you very much for your sponsorship. Now, this is from Dave Penn of the Pen Box. It's a Bowman Chrome Mega Box. You've seen me open one of these before. The Bowman Chrome Mega Boxes are $39.99, so 40 bucks, which is a great deal for this product. Let's go ahead and rip this open and see if we can get something good for uh, my birthday. So, Dave, thank you very much for sending this, or actually giving this to me, because he was actually right there with me. I met him at Walmart so that I could get the... Um, the pen box for this month, the November pen box. And he said that it is a pretty interesting pen box. So you might want to stay tuned for that. We'll be bringing that video to you sometime over the next couple days. There's a gnat on the table. That was weird. I don't know if you saw that or not, but that's gone now. All right, here's the base Chrome cards. Let's see if we can find anything good. There's a Kill Badoo. That's a nice one right there. Put that one aside. One of the top three or four rookies from this year's class. There's Bellinger, Glaber Torres, and Luis Garcia rookie card. Three more packs left, and then we'll get to the fun stuff, those Mega Box exclusive packs. There's a Tatis and Randy Rosarena. Always a good one to find. Matt Chapman's on the back, Luis Campusano on the front. There's Jordan Alvarez, love his cards for sure. Always grabbing his rookies whenever I can. And our last pack, Shohei Otani leads things off. Altuve, Davy Garcia, and that's going to do it. So now it's time for these. This is going to be the saving grace of the box. Hopefully we can get an autograph. I know Dave sent a message and said that he got an auto out of his box. Uh, he bought two boxes, one for him, one for me. There's a Kevin Alcantara Dawn of Glory card. Wilman Diaz and Misael Urbina. So nothing too crazy in that pack. That Dominguez was a nice one. And here we go, last pack of the video. Thank you very much for watching, everybody. Hope you guys enjoyed this one. Hope you can check out the showdown tonight. Hope you hit that subscribe button, hit that thumbs up button. And uh, I hope you're all having a very great weekend. And we've got something coming up. It's a pink. It's a Garrett Mitchell pink after Torkelson, which is a very nice card. The pink is going to be... Um, numbered out of 199. Kind of tough to see with that mojo design, but there it is. Ed Howard and final card is Brett Beatty. So that'll do it, everybody. Thank you for watching this episode of the uh, Walmart $100 haul. We've got some more videos coming up for you. We've got the pen box. I've got a Garbage Pell Kid blaster box for Halloween. I've got a 100, not a 100 count. I've got a 3,000 count box of rookie cards that I bought at a card show last week still to do. So lots of stuff coming up. Make sure you hit that subscribe button and have a great rest of your Saturday. And I will see you all later. Good night, everybody.